Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and welcome to Quick Tips. The tips so quick we didn't even show the intro. This time, we're gonna be covering mouse sensitivity and mouse settings, so you can find the sensitivity that is right for you. There is no magic answer to the question of sensitivity. A lot of it comes down to personal preference, but there are some standards that you should follow as you craft your own setup, so that you can avoid issues that will cause you to be less precise. The first thing to understand about sensitivity in mouse settings is DPI versus sensitivity. Now keep in mind there are many schools of thought on this subject. Many of the internet drama has erupted as a result of mouse settings. So I'm just gonna say what we know. DPI stands for dots per inch. It's how many pixels the crosshair moves on the screen for how far you move the mouse on the mouse pad. If you purchase a decent gaming mouse, you'll be able to change the DPI of the mouse. Don't listen to the hype. Higher DPI does not mean a better mouse. Sensitivity is a variable inside of Counter-Strike itself. The best way to describe it is that the DPI is determined by the hardware of the mouse, where sensitivity is determined by the software of the game. A good rule of thumb is to use 400 DPI if you're playing on a low resolution, and 800 DPI if you're playing on a resolution native to your monitor. However, there will be many the angry neckbeard yelling at me for saying this for whatever reason, trust me. There's a lot of really finicky stuff and really in-depth stuff here that you really don't have to know, and I don't know. I mean, unless you're just naturally curious and interested in engineering. You just really have to find the sensitivity that works for you without doing something that's going to screw up um, your, your precision. There are a lot of settings when it comes to the mouse. The idea to getting the right settings is to turn off as much pointless crap as possible. You want it so that when you move the mouse, the crosshair moves just as far as you move the mouse. You don't want any of these crazy settings or calculations going on. You need it to be consistent. The thing about playing an eSport like Counter-Strike is that you need it to be consistent so that you're able to perform the same way every time. That means in your Windows settings, turn off Enhance Pointer Precision. It doesn't enhance the pointer precision. It just does other calculations. You just don't need it. Same thing goes for your in-game settings. Turn off mouse acceleration. Adding these extra calculations will only hurt you. It will be inconsistent and it will take more time to move where you want to. So with mouse acceleration, you won't be able to flick shoot. You just, you want it as raw as possible. That brings up raw input. Raw input bypasses those fancy Windows settings that we were messing with earlier. I suggest turning it on. Of course, the angry people will say otherwise. It makes it so that the input to the game is coming pretty much directly from the mouse, regardless of the operating system. So there's no extra fancy calculations going on. That brings up our final setting. The one you've all been waiting for, the in-game sensitivity. Think of the sensitivity variable as a software-based multiplier to your DPI. So if you have 400 DPI and 2 in-game sensitivity, it will be the same as 800 DPI and 1 in-game sensitivity. Now it's time to find the setting that's right for you. You need to find the optimization between being able to micro-correct your aim and your movement. It is easier to aim at lower sensitivities, but it is easier to move at higher sensitivities. The advice I give everyone is to make your sensitivity as low as possible while still being able to turn 180 degrees consistently. It takes a bit of tweaking to find out what works for you. First, start by setting your DPI and all of your mouse settings. Then, slowly adjust the sensitivity variable through the console command sensitivity to find out what works for you. If it looks like you have to pick up the mouse a lot when you're just walking around the map, you've probably got your sensitivity too low. And if you're having a lot of difficulty aiming and you seem to overshoot your target a lot, you probably have your sensitivity too high. You can enter values lower than 1 if you want to. So if, you play on, if I were to play on 800 DPI and I wanted the same sensitivity I have now, I would put down 0.8 sensitivity. You can also adjust the sensitivity of scoped weapons different from your sensitivity, being the op scout SG and AUG. You modify the variable zoom underscore sensitivity underscore ratio underscore mouse. It is a multiplier of your normal sensitivity, so a value of 1 will be the same as your sensitivity unscoped. Most players will not touch this value. However, some pro oppers modify it to get their settings exactly how they would please. Thanks for watching. I'm the War Owl. And I still BONUS TIP! Your mouse needs to be an extension of your body. Proper mouse control involves your entire arm, all the way down to your wrist. 
When you swipe your arm, you do so in an arc, just naturally. That's how our bodies are built. But you need to turn in a straight line. It takes a lot of practice to get this movement down, with sweeping motions of the arm mixed with micro-corrections of the wrist. Oh, and you need a giant mouse pad. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.